Hi guys and welcome to another Apache tutorial. Apache Nifi tutorial. Sorry, I'm a bit excited about this one. So in this tutorial, like I promised last one, last time, where we saw how we can push data into um, uh, Redshift using Apache Nifi and DBC connection pool. This time, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Apache as the middleman, as you can see in this this let's say diagram. So you can collect data from multiple sources, from databases, from sensor data, from factories, for point of sales, whatever. You're going to collect it with the Apache Nifi and we're going to push it into Kinesis, in Amazon Kinesis Firehouse. Well, and then the configuration of the Kinesis streams will have a copy of it on AWS S3 and then he will trickle load, he will create small load into AWS in real time and then the data will be consumed by the end user analytics or whatever other system but the whole point here is to enable us to create this pipeline with the less amount of work so let's go ahead and see how we can do that I already have a system in place uh, I already have a workflow that does this for me so you can see I have a generate flow file that pretty much generates me a CSV file that looks like this and then I have a put kinesis firehose that is connected to my dev uh, stream name I created a stream name in Amazon kinesis firehose uh, delivery if you guys don't know how to do this this is pretty easy you don't you don't have to go into much detail it just follows the tutorials but keep in mind you have to have an AWS account because you will require to have uh, an access key and a secret key to be able to connect to your own resources and start building this stuff and from there um, Kinesis is doing all the work and pushing data into uh, let's see here into Amazon RDS, RDS Amazon Redshift so here you we have the storage area in S3 so you have to create a bucket I already went ahead and I created a, a S3 bucket and the Amazon Kinesis dashboard looks like this so if I refresh I can see how the data flows in uh, bytes and then incoming records these are numbers and what are their status delivery to Redshift average success and delivery to, av to Redshift success average this refers to the loads and not to the records this refers to the records so it tells me that he loaded 4,502 records and if I go to my table here and I do a count uh, it's it's more than that because that that it's not updated so let's go ahead and see how we can create it from scratch so first we're gonna go ahead and you want to go and create let, let's let's use the diagram to guide us so right here first what is your source so our source in this case is gonna be a generate flow file so drag and drop a generate flow file cool and we're gonna add that CSV format and one interesting thing here and I want you to pay attention uh, you wanna you wanna have these values in a CSV format with a new line so what you want to do you want to copy and when you reach the end just type enter and copy copy from here like this pretty much this will create a break line as you can see here and all will be created in a single line great next what we're gonna do we're gonna drag in a put kinesis Firehouse processor link it to uh, link it to our generate flow file and right over here what you want to do you want to punch in your access keys and secret keys I'm gonna pause and also select your area here or your AWS region so I'm gonna pause populate my keys and secret keys and come back all right we're back so you can see that the set the sensitive values were already set and here you're gonna give 
the stream name. We haven't created yet the stream, but let's call it, let's give it a name. So we're gonna call it stream uh, demo, demo stream. All right, make sure you copy this and you have it saved or you remember it, or you can go back to it anyway. Now, let's go back to our diagram and see what's the next step. Kinesis, so let's go and create a stream in, in Amazon Kinesis. So let's jump into our into our Amazon Kinesis dashboard. Let's go to the dashboard. And here in the dashboard, you have all these options here. So you want to go and select Kinesis Firehouse Delivery Stream and say create delivery stream. But before we do that, and uh, like I mentioned in our last tutorial, you have to have a Redshift cluster created. The reason why is because this will enable us when we create the delivery stream to give it an endpoint. So let's go and give it a name and you guys will see. We're going to leave everything as default in this part. We're going to go next. We're not going to use any record transformation or any JSON form formatting or data formatting. So we're going to go next. And this is what I'm talking about. So the destination, we want to put it as Amazon Redshift. So it's pretty smart, he gives you a layout and he makes you understand what's going to happen. And here in the Dropbox, if you don't have a, a, a cluster, Redshift cluster on your account, then you can create one using the create new. And then you come back. My cluster is called Red1. The database name is also Red1. Uh, I'm going to put my admin password. Actually, no, this should be my admin name. Obviously, it's admin. <laughs> pretty easy. Best practices in security, <laughs> not really. Specify the database. My database name is red one as well. It's a bit confusing. And we're gonna see we're gonna create we're gonna create a table called user user demo. And we are not gonna specify the specify the column that needs to be populated. So and also the intermediary intermediary S3 bucket that we're gonna use, it's going to be the one that we've just I showed you I already have the ODS red and we're gonna prefix the bucket with user demo great and here one thing very interesting what is you have to put a copy option here so what we're gonna say here is a copy option CSV uh, so the copy command will know that the file that he's about to ingest it's in CSV form great so we're gonna punch next we're not gonna touch any of this we can compress it uh, or uh, enable encryption we're going to leave everything as it is. More important part here because you need to allow Firehouse to have access to S3 buckets. If we go next, this will send a lot. So what you want to do, create new or choose. And there's not too much to do actually. AWS is smart enough to say to populate everything for you, create a policy here. So what you want to do, you just want to say allow. Great. Now that we allowed and we have it set up, go next review your setup but before we review a setup what we want to do we want to go back to our database and keep in mind the user demo and let's create table with the same configuration as our csv file keep in mind we say what is the name ao what is the h12 what is the gender male all right so we're going to create this table great so now we have the we have the table created Let's copy all this uh, SQL here. We can see there is no data into it. Great. Now let's jump into our. Sorry, guys. It's a bit confusing here. Let's back. Let's go back to our uh, review screen and create delivery stream. All right. So this is going to take a bit of time, probably a minute or two. And uh, you can actually click and see. Look at it. I'm going to walk you guys through what's happening behind the scene and uh, well it's he's creating it so here you can see that you can monitor and you can see the incoming bytes uh, here you can see the Amazon Redshift logs in case something uh, bad happens and he cannot send data to Redshift you will see error messages here same thing here if he cannot deliver uh, messages to S3 bucket you'll get an error here so let's look at it He's still creating. I'm gonna pause and come back when it's actually in the meantime. What we can do, 
we can jump back into our uh, NIFI and we can complete the setup and add a log attribute here. We want to see what is the status, if it's success or if it's failure. Great. We can see that um, the status of the processor is healthy now. And let's go back to our page, refresh here. And now we have the uh, stream up and running. So it's called demo stream. And let's see if we actually, yes, this is demo stream. Let's start generating. Uh, let's let's go here and configure it to run every second. Otherwise, if we leave it at zero, he'll create thousands and thousands of roles, and we don't want that. So let's create one and look into it. Let's look at it. So the flow file content is like this, and this is gonna be sent to the uh, to the stream. All right, great. So let's keep it running and start up the put kinesis fire fly host and we can see there's no errors we have eight successful errors eight successful uh, uh, data flow sent uh, let's go back to our demo stream and see what is the status of it what's the monitoring class it takes some time for it to actually to grab and count all the records but we can go to the S3 bucket and look into it and soon a new um, a new folder will be added here called uh, demo or whatever we call it what is it? demo stream yes so a demo stream folder will show up here if we're going back to our table and we look here probably no records were inserted so let's get ready for this one We can see there is no errors here, no more here. All right, going to Amazon S3, the first place where he's gonna store data and push data into your M Amazon account is gonna be here, where then he will create the manifest and uh, understand where he needs to pick up data from to load it into RDS. Go back to monitoring, refresh a bit. I'm gonna put a pause so I won't have to bore you guys and come back when this starts pushing data. And I'm gonna look, we look at the time, it's 10.22 right now. Let's see how. All right guys, so we get some activities. Finally, after four minutes actually. So we had, we had ingested 100 something rows and uh, incoming, it, it's their call as incoming. We can see that nothing was uh, delivered to S3 so far and nothing to Redshift as well. Uh, if we look at the, law, the errors, there's no errors yet and no errors here. Uh, let's jump into our S3 bucket, let's refresh and there you go. We already see that the user demo in 2018 is here. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go and actually take a look at it and open so pretty much what this guy does it's uh, he'll merge the content of everything we, we send and put it in a CSV file and here we get like uh, 303 records so this is how many files or records we, we will get in the first copy command so if you go back into our into our image here and we go to monitoring things will change soon Still no errors in the log. Let's jump into our Redshift console and see what's happening here. So to go to see what's happening or what is loading into your Redshift, just go select the cluster that you want to look at. In my case, it's called Red. It's a demo cluster, so you guys can copy everything from here, try to hack it. By the time this video will be online, none of this will be available. So we're going to look at the load and here we have our first load so we can say that in about five minutes from 22 to 27 data was propagated across from our end user or the edge 
up to Bash, uh, Amazon Redshift. Now we're waiting for this smart dude to go and do marvelous things with it. So let's go back into our uh, firehouse and look at the monitoring and see. Let's refresh it. We haven't yet got the pointers back, but most likely this is already in the database. So let's go back here and select from this. Great, so we see if we do a count, we'll have 303 records. And that's how many he got from that file. So going back to our layout here, uh, we can easily query this and put it in the dashboard. And display it. Um, keep in mind, always keep your eyes on the logs to see any errors and uh, also hear any errors here like for example here uh, when a query was aborted the reason why was uh, the delimiter type was missing. So we see that these are continuously running into the database. Copy a command that run let's call it trickle loads they're running pretty they run pretty fast and uh, let's review what we've done so far so uh, we saw how we can grab data from the data source using NiFi we already know that NiFi is a tool that you can transform data on the fly and we saw how the put kinesis processor helped us create a let's say a pipeline, an automatic pipeline that will store data in in Amazon S3 and then push it to Amazon Redshift using uh, Kinesis uh, delivery streams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in uh, in the video description, and uh, I'll try to design a new demo on how we can use NiFi and uh, take away Kinesis and only use Amazon S3 to push data into Redshift but not through Kinesis where he decides and creates the pipeline. We're pretty much going to architect a system where NiFi will decide when to load, what to load, into what to load and tables will be created on the fly. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial if you have any suggestions or if you like this tutorial or you find it interesting give me a thumbs up and uh, Keep watching.